Well, would you look at that? I bought more red apple fireworks. You guys should have seen this coming. I have a bunch of red apple fireworks here on this table and today we're gonna show you what each one of them does. And let me tell you, some of these things are really unique. Like for example, look at the size of this cake right here. And this firework lasts three minutes in total. We've all heard of the Geisha XL canister shells, but have you heard of the rockets? And look at this, red apple fireworks was kind enough to name a firework after me. Okay, all jokes aside, we're getting really close to the 4th of July and so I wanted to pick up some real powerful fireworks that Red Apple sells. Now, I'm assuming that you all know this by now, but I had all of these fireworks shipped right to my doorstep. RedAppleFireworks.com, if you wanna make any fireworks purchases, they will ship them to you, or you can visit their location in Pahrump, Nevada. All right, down over here, we've got the Sigma. This is an XL aerial firework. It has a built-in 12-shot finale. It's 36 shots in total and lasts 40 seconds long. Now, this one here I thought was pretty interesting. It's a 50 shot cake called lunar rainbow and it's inside of this box that opens up which is totally bizarre look at that so this is like a box style firework we're just going to go ahead and put that back on there for now but this one actually features an angle which they tell you about right here on the side of the cake i'm thinking this one's going to be really good especially since it's 50 shots and it's definitely got some weight to it now this one here's the biggest one on the table it is the death blossom and i've seen this before and it's one of my favorites look at these little skulls up here three inches it's kind of funny when you think about it but you get massive platinum willow style breaks in this one now another cake i was really excited about is this one right here in the case it's packaged 2-1 so if you buy a case of these you already have a six minute fireworks show and you just have to light off two fuses if you really wanted to be lazy on the fourth of july three minute panic 77 shots now this is one of the first 500 gram cakes i ever lit off by red apple fireworks and it's called the ghost banshee 30 shots you guys know that whistling sound in fireworks that isn't quite a whistle it's more like an evil howl yeah that's what you're gonna find in this one and we got this cute little guy right here it's called wasabi it's another xl aerial 15 shots in total my god that wind gust almost took the camera off the tripod this wind is really really crazy right now not gonna lie um so we're gonna show you this pack of rockets before we continue this is called roaring tiger look at this wind guys right now it's taken this whole pack of rockets this is the worst i've ever seen it out here anyway these rockets are really cool because if you guys have ever let off a strobe rocket there is a part towards the end of the strobe sound and it sounds like a screeching tire or something like that if you guys do burnouts on the pavement that sound well that's what these rockets do and then of course i showed these in the beginning of the video these are the new geisha xl rockets i'm a huge fan of the canister shell kit by the same name so looking forward to see how good these rockets are in comparison to those shells then i had to go ahead and pick up a 24 kit of canister shells here these are called american glory these are seven inch canister shells with new and improved effects i believe in past years these shells actually used to feature a whistle tail on the way up but in an effort to make the shells break harder I believe they took the whistle out. And then we got the world famous giant panda canister shells. I lit these off several years ago and I was super impressed. They feature mines up to these massive breaks. And what's really cool is I think some of these shells have these mini reports in them. So it's almost like they took a pack of firecrackers and put it right into the canister shell. I've never seen any other shell kit feature that effect. So these are definitely really cool and unique. And lastly, the elephant in the room. This is the new Volt 72 shot compound cake look at the size of this beast now inside the vault you're gonna get three XL aerials that are meant to be lit off at the exact same time you have one that shoots off to the left <laughs> That was like a 20 mile an hour wind gust. You have one that shoots off to the left, one in the middle, and one to the right. And what's really cool is the thing only lasts like 20 seconds, so this is definitely something you would want to use in your finale. Now, I wanted to go ahead and get this bad boy opened up to show you how these cakes look. If you guys do get confused on how to set this up, there's a handy little QR code here on the bottom of the cake. It'll bring you to a tutorial on how to set these up, but I'm gonna show you how to do it anyway. First, you put this one down, then this one, then that one. You can't make this stuff up, it's literally that easy. Then with your torch or whatever you use to light off fireworks on the 4th of July, you just come up here and light all three fuses at once and they're a little bit longer to give you more time to do that. If you really wanted to get cool and professional with this thing, Red Apple Fireworks actually sells a firing system called the Rad Box. You can use that firing system to set off these three cakes at the exact same time. So there's not gonna be any two second or three second delay between the cakes. They're all gonna go exactly how they were 
were intended to fire. If you guys are interested in learning more about the Radbox, please check the link in the description as I have an entire video on that system. Now obviously Red Apple Fireworks has been one of my favorite brands over the years, and that is why I have recently become a Club Red Apple Ultra member. If you'd like to learn more about Club Red Apple and how much money you can save on your fireworks, please be sure to also check the links in the descriptions for that as well. Now, without any further ado, I'm gonna get all these bad boys set up, and when it's dark enough to light them off, we'll get right back to you. Well, I think it's time to get going on the rockets, and we're gonna light the Roaring Tiger first. Here goes one to start. This is gonna sound crazy. Wow. <laughs> Didn't know they were gonna have breaks. Here goes a couple at the same time. Beautiful. The last two of those. You can see that wind just really taking them. Are the Geisha rockets gonna be as good as the canister shells? Let's find out. Here goes one of them to start. Looks like a canister shell on here. Oh yeah. Nice, look at that. Here goes two more of those. Beautiful. Almost missed that one. Last two rockets. These are pretty nice. Wish it wasn't so freaking windy. Look at that. Very nice gold on them too. Now it's time to see some American Glory cans. We're gonna do these in volleys of three. Whoa. Oh yeah. Wow. Three more. Shooting star. Another three. Man, those are pretty. Rings too. That was a white lace ring. <laughs> yeah, they're hitting hard. Last three. Wow. 10 out of 10 shells. I think it's giant panda time. This is all 12 shells. So I think those were supposed to be rings, but they broke sideways. I think I got four of them here. Oh my goodness. Two left. Oh yeah, it's cake time. Let's start with the three minute panic. Man, it's windy. Oh, we got angled shots. Flying fish.
I'm gonna try to get out of this smoke for you guys. <laughs> One should have been called never ending. Oh my god. This is one cake, guys. If you get two of these, you get a six minute firework show. Weird. This one here says, for wide angle view, face this side towards spectators. Lunar rainbow. 50 shots on this bad boy. Man, this wind is just taking it. Sigma, 36 shots. Here we go. Banshee, 30 shots. This is gonna be gnarly. For better view, place this side facing spectators. Wasabi. How spicy is it gonna be though? It's spicy. Oh yeah. All well, these are fun, but it doesn't compare to this one. Death Blossom. Huge brakes coming in hot. Oh my god, look at these willows. Look at that. It's going out of the camera frame. Oh boy, hopefully those don't go down into the dry grass. Oh no, I think they are. We are like in these things. This is not good. <laughs> Beautiful firework, but we don't want them falling over here into the grass. So right away, I do want to apologize. I probably missed some of the breaks that were coming out of the death blossom. Beautiful cake, but fire safety is number one. So we want to make sure we're not starting any fires. Now this right here is the grand finale. This is Volt, all three of them at the same time. Oh boy, what's it gonna do? Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. The wind is just taking. This wind is insane. 
<laughs> Holy cow. That's a finale. Oh, it's not even over. Wow.